Hi everyone, so a lot of you guys have been requesting me to make a review of the educative system design course which is grokking the modern system design interview and I have heard a lot about this course frankly in all of my podcasts a lot of Fang engineers have mentioned about this course and have told that this course has helped them in their journey in cracking Fang. So I'm very excited to make this video. I have the course right here. I have the course open right in front of me and I've gone through the course. I've gone through it bit by bit. And in this video, we're going to see a proper review of it. We're going to see the content. We're going to see how are the problems. We're going to see how are the mock interviews and we're going to see what all you get and whether it is worth it for you or not. So let's get started. So as you guys can see, I have the course open right here and we're going to deep dive into it. But apart from that, let me tell you that if you want to check the course out, if you want to enroll in it, then right now, if you click the link in the description and you use the link in the description, you'll be getting more than 70% off on this course. So this is a limited time offer. If you want to get this course, make sure that you check out the link in the description for a discount of more than 70%. All right. So here is the course. Like I said, the name of the course is Grokking the Modern System Design Interview. And we're going to go into it bit by bit. We're going to see the syllabus, the content and everything. But before that, for every course, the one question that I get a lot is that who is this for, right? So if you're a fresher or even if you're someone who's already experienced and are looking for a switch, this course can be very helpful for you. And the reason for that is that system design is no longer a joke. Many companies are taking system design very seriously. And again, it doesn't matter if you're a fresher or if you're paying for SD2 or SD3, system design is still very, very important. Especially if you look at companies like Amazon, Flipkart, Cred, or Meta, and all of these top product-based companies have a dedicated system design round in which you are expected to, you know, do LLD and HLD of a proper system. So definitely, if you're either a fresher or you're either experienced person looking to switch to a product-based company, you can take this course. Okay. So now that's out of the way. Let's take a deep dive into it. All right. So this is the course. It is a 26 hour course, meaning that is the time that it will take you to, you know, generally go over the course. And one thing that I really like about the course that we'll see later on is that you have a personalized learning powered by AI. So what you do, you have here basically mock interviews. You have assessments that are taken care of by AI. So the AI assesses your specific individual answers and grades you on top of that so that you can assess easily how your learning is and you know whether you're learning properly or not all right so all of these things are pretty much what i said you know that system design is important and all of these things let's take a look at the content all right so first it starts from a very fundamental level so even what is system design interview why is it needed how to approach system design then it has things like abstraction it has things like non functional system characteristics back of the envelope calculations so all of these are basically the fundamentals and after the fundamental it goes a bit more into implementation of actually building the systems you know like these are the things that are actually required in building scalable applications so it goes into that so you have building blocks you have domain name system dns you have load balancers database and all of these things are very very important in building any industry grade projects right all of these things load balancers database dns all of these are extremely important. Then you have key value store, you have content delivery network, you have sequencer, distributed monitoring, monitor, monitoring server side error, client side error, distributed cache, all of these things are a part of it. And then, like I said, you have a mock interview. Now, in this mock interview, you are able to basically put in your answer and then get it graded by AI. And then AI will tell you if you know, you're missing out on something or if you're right or wrong, it'll basically grade you on your individual answer. So it is very similar to a real interview because there's no exact answer in system design. There's no right or wrong answer. It's about how good your approach is or, you know, how scalable, how efficient your approach is, right? So it's everyone has an individual answer to that. So it is very realistic and it's very real to a actual interview that you'll be facing. Then you have distributed messaging queue. Again, messaging queues are extremely important. If anyone has already worked in a company, then you already know how much these things are important in actually building industry grade application then you have pub sub again a very important topic then you have a mock interview on top of that then we start going into the actual designing part so you have design of a rate limiter now rate limiter is a very 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 common interview questions and you know in a company like atlassian you can expect a question based on rate limiting then you have blob store again then you have a mock interview 
then you have distributed search, distributed logging, task scheduler, sharded counters, and then you have concluding the building block discussion. Again, you have AI evaluation of your learning. You have reshaded approach that you get to learn that you can use, you know, to tackle new interview problems that you are going to face in the actual interview. And then the best part, the actual proper designing of applications. Now, I'm going to go in depth into one of these, but this is like an overview, right? So you have design of YouTube, you have mock interview on design of TikTok, then you have design of Quora, you have design of Google Map, you have design of, you know, Yelp, you have design of Uber, Twitter, then you have a mock interview in the middle, and then, you know, newsfeed system, Instagram, URL shortening system, web crawler, WhatsApp, and all of these things are there, right? So I can definitely say that I've gone through a lot of system design courses and by far educative system design course is the most intensive, right? It covers a lot of things and it actually covers it into implementation. You know, a lot of times when you take a system design course, it focuses a lot on just the overview, just the theoretical part. But this course actually goes down into the nitty gritty of the implementation, you know, and that is important for interviews. It is important for cracking good product based companies interview because there you will be expected to provide the implementation of what you are doing. All right. So this is what the syllabus looks like. We're going to go deeper into it. Before that, let's discuss about the content. So a lot of people ask about how is the content, is the content actually up to the mark or not. So the content is text based, that is something that you need to know, but it is not entirely text. Along with text, you have uh, visuals, you have, you know, pictures, you have diagrams to make you understand, you have code snippets and you have all of these things. Now, a lot of people prefer videos, that is fine as well, but a text based approach makes you think, you know, it makes you, it makes sure that you're not being spoon fed everything and it you know nurtures your way of thinking which is very important because you might not get the same question in the interview you might get a similar question definitely but it's important that you develop your own way of thinking and a text-based approach you know a text-based course make sure that you are able to do that so you have text you have code snippets you have implementation and the entire content is designed by fang engineer so the content is pretty good it is pretty vast and yeah probably the most intensive syllabus all right so as i said now let's go deeper into one of the design so you have all of these design let me go to design instagram i've gone over through a lot of it and i really liked the you know instagram design you have a lot of this right you have uber google maps all of these things right so see first it makes you understand what you will be building right and that is extremely important Whenever you come across a question, you need to first understand what are you actually building? What is the purpose of it? So it goes from there. What are you building? What is the purpose of it? Right? How is it used? And then it goes into this uh, order the requirements. What are the requirements? And this is the order that you should follow in the interview as well. So what are the requirements? What do you need to do? So this is also a discussion between you and the interviewer, right? What do you require? Then the design. How do you design? So you have a part of high level design, you have low level design, you have the API design, the API calls that will be there, you have database design and you have all of these things under design. Then you have a detailed design, which is going deeper into the implementation, going deeper into how you're actually going to achieve what you have said you will achieve, right? And then they have a quiz and the quiz, it will basically evaluate your learning that you've gotten from it, right? So let's check it out. So you have high level design. As you guys can see, it has an entire diagram where what is going to happen, it explains. So you have multiple user, they interact with Instagram, Instagram interacts with database, right? Then you have API design. So, you know, you have API of media, whenever you post a picture, whenever you like a picture, whenever you, you know, do something, do some interaction, what API will be called? Whether you follow someone, what API will be called? So all of this is also explained, right? And then you have a detailed design of load balancer, the database, the storage, and then in the end, you have a quiz as well. So all of these things are there, which make sure that you are getting to learn and that you're prepared for the real interview, right? And then you have mock interview. Again, mock interviews are pretty amazing because it uses AI and you need something like that, right? Because it's not a yes or no answer. It's not like, a, you know, 
DSA problem or a coding problem where you only have one answer. Here you can have multiple answer, you can have multiple approaches, you can have multiple ways of thinking. So it uses AI to make sure that you're correctly evaluated on top of that. So that's pretty much it. This is how the course looks like. Along with that, you have quizzes, you have assignments, you have mock interviews like I showed right at every level. And they have a lot of problems. That is my favorite part. They have a lot of problems, a lot of applications, which are similar to the ones you'll be really seeing in the actual interview, you know, once you go for it. So definitely, if you are someone who wants to crack a fan company or even a high paying fan company, like let's say Rippling, Databricks, Confluent, and you know, either SD1 or SD2 role, and you want to not worry about the system design round, then definitely, yeah, this is a course that you can take. And if you take it seriously, if you learn it well, then I can guarantee you, you'll never have to worry about a system design round again. But you will have to work for it. You'll have to go along with the course. You'll have to, you know, spend some time on it. And that will be good enough for any company system design interview. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys liked the video. And if you are interested in enrolling, and if you are interested in enrolling into the course, then make sure to use the link in the description. You'll be getting more than 70% off on top of that. So yeah, that's it. Let me know what course you want me to review next and I'll make a video for it. So yeah, thank you.